Hello, class of 2020, faculty, parents, and family. Hi, my name is Jake Rivera, Great Basin College Vice President for Student and Academic Affairs. Let me first say congratulations to the class of 2020. You know, for more than 20 years, I've attended every college graduation at the colleges I've worked at. This will be the first time that did not happen. Graduation has always been that one event that provides the inspiration and motivation that reminds those like myself, uh, college administrators and faculty, why we love doing what we do. Uh, because we know how important it is uh, to see all of you get every opportunity there is to continue your success, but also to be an example for, the many, uh, for many others um, who will follow you. I'm not about to tell you that things are gonna get easier. Yes, we're in the midst of a pandemic, high unemployment, and certainly at a crossroad across the globe uh, with political, economic, and social challenges. What I will tell you is don't be afraid of adversity. Many of you may not remember this, but when I was in college, in between classes, I watched planes strike the Twin Towers and the Pentagon. Um, that was the 9-11. The threat was real, but we all had a choice in how to constructively work through what had just happened and how to be part, how to be a part of positive change in the aftermath. You know, the philosopher Aristotle once said, um, it's during your darkest moments that we must focus to see the light. This advice we can bank on for the rest of our lives. Many of you are not newcomers to adversity. You have experienced it in all forms, physical adversity, mental, emotional, spiritual, social, and I know how many of our students are certainly aware of financial adversity. But let me tell you this, you all have a choice. You can allow adversity to keep yourself down or use it to pick yourself up. Albert Einstein said, adversity introduces a man to himself. Sometimes adversity is what we have to face in order to be the success we were meant to be. But also make sure you surround yourself with the right people. And don't be a stranger to the GBC faculty and staff. We are always here to continue supporting our students. I wanna leave you with a charge from President Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln said, you can have anything you want if you want it badly enough. You can be anything you wanna be. Do anything you set out to accomplish if you hold to that desire with singleness and purpose. Congratulations again, class of 2020, wishing you all the very best. Congratulations, Great Basin College graduates. You did it. What an accomplishment and what a crazy year to have done it. Congratulations. So many things going on in the world, so many things going on in the community, and here you are, a graduate. I am so, so proud of you. I really wish I could be with all of you doing this speech in person, give you lots of hugs, and just tell you how proud I am of you, each and every one of you. But I know I can't do it with circumstances surrounding us, but praise God for technology that I can still get to talk with all of you. My name is Ruby B. Johnson, and I am so honored to be your commencement speaker for your graduation. Well done. I can't even imagine um, going through school during this time and getting to finish your studies and all the things that you had going on in these crazy times, but you, you did it. And I am so proud of you for that. And um, just, I remember several months back when I was asked to be the commencement speaker for your commencement ceremony, all I could think after getting off that phone, the getting off the phone call was little old Ruby, from Freetown, Sierra Leone, is who they just asked to be commencement speaker. What an honor, what an honor. Like I just said, I'm from Freetown, Sierra Leone. So a little bit about me. I was born in Freetown, in Sierra Leone, which is a small country in West Africa. Moved over to the United States when I was 12 years old. Raised by my mom, who was a single parent, alongside with my brother. 
I was raised in Maryland, completed middle school there, did high school, went on to Virginia Tech, and I got my degree in mining engineering along with women's studies leadership. Um, a year after I graduated, I moved to Elko, and now I currently work at Nevada Gold Mines. Being in Elko has been a wonderful experience. And um, just kind of thinking of what would I talk about for my speech, I thought about seasons. I'm a firm believer in life being all about seasons. You know, as a believer, as a Christian, for me, um, one of my favorite scriptures has to do with Ecclesiastes three in one, which talks about seasons. You know, that chapter, a good chunk of it talks about seasons. There's a time to die and there's a time to grow. And there's so many seasons that we experience. And one thing I thought about was, you know, with seasons, there are three key things when it comes to seasons for me, is I believe that we have to listen. Listen in terms of being attentive to what's going on in that season we're in. Whether it's a happy season, a joyful season, or it's a sad season, it's a depressing season, we have to be attentive to what's going on because there's a lesson. And it brings me to my second point, which is to learn. The second thing, you listen, what's going on? What's going on around me? Be attentive to that. And you learn from that season. What is there to learn? Whether it's a sad season or a joyful one, like I said, there's something we can learn in everyday life. Even when we go through the mundane things, there are things that we can learn from it. And the third is to lead. What I mean by that is with those two, those first two things, we can move on out of that season leading in terms of, so if we go through a hard time, we look back at that season that we're in. And then when we move forward, we can learn from it. We've listened, we've been attentive to what goes on and we lead by showing others that they can go through a life without that particular time. Everyone's bound to have ups and downs in life. It's inevitable, but also we can lead. One thing I believe in, a, a quote that I heard very long time ago is that we have to lift others as we climb. That's so, so, so important. And I believe we can lead when we get out of those seasons. Mentoring is something that I'm very passionate about. And I think we can learn from that in so many ways that when we are mentors to others or whether we are being mentored. And by leading is to be a leader in terms of mentoring others, whether it's by your actions, your words, whatever you do in your community. The education you have gotten now is so, so, so important. But what are you going to do with it? It doesn't necessarily mean whatever you've gotten your degree in is what you're going to use to get you to lead. But it can be a stepping stone to getting there. And I think it's so important that this season that you just completed as a student, you can use that to lead others. Be attentive to what goes on in your home, but also in your community. You were born in purpose. God had a reason why he created you. There's a reason why you are here in Elko. There's a reason why you went to Great Basin College. There's a reason why you have the friends you have, the family you have. Use that time wisely in that season that you're in. Whether it's a good season or a season that you just want to get out of badly, we learn from it. I encourage you to learn from it. So whatever you're going through, take a moment, just sit back and think, what's going on around me? Listen, be attentive, and then also learn from it. Don't just ignore what's going on. Learn. How can you become a better person? How can you help others become a be better people? and also you lead. What can you do to move on from that? What can you do to encourage people around you? What do you want your legacy to be? That's a key thing. That will be my fourth point, legacy. For me, that's something I always keep at the back of my mind. For me, I always think about what do I want my legacy to be? Of course, th thinking things like that can just put a lot of pressure on you. And we already have a lot of pressures that life brings at us, but. We don't have to dwell on that. But I think when you have thoughts about what do I want my legacy to be, that helps you get on a path whereby it's saying it kind of helps you prioritize what's going on in life. Think about that fourth L. What do you want your legacy to be? When they think about you, how do you want people to feel? 
I currently self-publish my own magazine. It's called Stem Her by Ruby B. Johnson Magazine. And um, with my magazine, it features women who are in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics fields, advocating for them, giving them a voice to share their story. Women from all across the world have featured over 70 plus women and young girls as well who are interested in the STEM fields. And with that, that is something that I'm very passionate about because I want to be remembered as someone who gave back to young girls who are in STEM or who are interested in STEM or paved a way for women who are interested in the STEM fields. I want that, that, want, that should be something that should be a legacy of mine that I want to be remembered to giving them a platform because that is so, so, so important to give others a platform, giving others a hand somehow and just letting them shine. Just let them shine on their own. So, to round up what I was talking about, what I've been talking about this whole time, when you're in a season, listen. And then in that same season, you learn from it. And whether you're still in that season or you're beyond that season, remember to lead. Lead boldly in that. Like I said, there's a reason why you're on earth. There's a reason why you have chosen that degree, that certificate you have received, that paper means something. It doesn't mean that's what's going to get you to success, but it's a stepping stone. It means that it can open up so many doors for you. So you lead in whatever it is, whether you're leading one person or whether you are just a leader for yourself, do that boldly in what you're doing. And also remember your legacy. How do you want this world to remember you? How do you want people to feel when they interact with you? What do you want your legacy to be? I am so proud of you graduates. Congratulations, you did it. In a crazy time like this, this is a crazy time, but you did it. Remember to keep reaching for excellence and nothing less. My name is Ruby B. Johnson. I love you so much. Now go out there and make yourself proud and make those around you proud and lead very, very well. God bless you, I love you all. Hello, I'm Dr. Carl Stevens. I'm the Dean of Online Education. The GBC Online team has worked with many of your professors and we know how hard you have worked to finish up your courses online toward graduation. And we want to congratulate you and wish you the very best in your future endeavors. Hi, I'm Lisa Campbell, Director of the Winnemucca Center. Congratulations, GBC graduates. What an amazing accomplishment to receive your college degree. All your hard work and dedication has brought you to this moment. What a success. I hope you celebrate this moment and reach for the stars. I know you'll do amazing things. Congratulations. Congratulations, graduates. We are so very proud of you and we look forward to seeing you at work, bettering our communities in the future. Congratulations, graduates. This is a great achievement. Go forth and do great things. Great job. On behalf of the Student Life Department at Great Basin College, I would like to congratulate our GBC class in 2020. It may not have been easy, but your perseverance has paid off. We wish you the best of luck with your future goals. The world is yours for the taking. Happy grad graduation to you. Happy graduation <laughs> to you. We're going to start over. We're going to start over. Okay, we're starting. Angela, Tristan, Marco, Allison, Kristen. Happy graduation to you. Yay! Uh -huh. Yay! Congratulations. Great job, guys. Great job. We love you. Congratulations are in order for Katherine Denham, commonly known as Carrie, who is graduating posthumously with a degree in accounting from Great Basin College. Carrie was probably best known for her passion for the arts. 
but understanding the importance of balance in life, she excelled in accounting as well. Her 4.0 grade point average in the relatively rigorous discipline of accounting serves as an example of her devotion to both areas of life. Her enthusiasm for life will be missed by the faculty in coming semesters. Congratulations, class of 2020. I just want to say thank you to all the professors and advisors in the BAS program. You guys were amazing and I cannot say enough good things about you. I also want to give a shout out to my husband and my four kids for being patient with me and having my back as I focused on my long-standing goal of obtaining a bachelor's degree. I not have done any of it without. Thank you. Congratulations class of 2020. While this may not be the kind of graduation we hoped for, we shouldn't let it take away all the success and accomplishments that we have during the last four years of our education. I also wanted to take the time to thank all of my professors, in particular Dr. Price Stroffer, that have really set the stage for my next adventure. Again, congrats class of 2020, we should all be proud. Hi, I'd like to thank my family and friends for all of their support. Um, I'd like to thank my husband for his unwavering encouragement and motivation. Congratulations class of 2020, it's been a long haul, it's been a long year, but we did it. And last, but certainly not least, grab those tassels and flip them, we're done. Hi, I'm Dr. Amber Dinelli, and I'm the Dean over the Health Science and Human Services here at Great Basin College. I know that this has been such a challenging time for everyone, and while this might not be the graduation you imagined, it's still a time to celebrate your accomplishments. You will enter the workforce in a time where nurses, paramedics, radiological technologists, sonographers, social workers, and those working in human services are essential. It's a time to celebrate and congratulations. I wish you all the very best. Hello graduates, I'm Brett Murphy. I'm the Dean of Business and Technology. Congratulations on your achievement. I know it takes a lot of effort to get that degree, but you now have an entrance ticket into the workforce. I know that all of the hard work you put into getting that degree is going to pay off because out in the workforce, it does take a lot of energy and effort to succeed and you've proven yourself to do that. So congratulations. Also congratulations goes to the business department, the computer technology and career and technical education. These are areas that I work with every day and I'm proud of those graduates and students, faculty and staff. So congratulations, I look forward to seeing you in the future in your successful endeavors. Congratulations, class of 2020. I am Mary Doucette and I'm the Dean of Arts and Sciences at Great Basin College. I am so excited and proud of you all for achieving a goal you set a while ago, but not as proud as you should be of yourself. You obtained your education by giving up many things and time. Then you had to face the adversity of the pandemic to finish. I wish you much success, but only you can determine what that success means for you. Keep setting new goals, never stop learning. Be bold, be courageous, be your best. Congratulations on your graduation and best wishes for your next adventure. To the Great Basin College graduating class, it is my honor to congratulate you on this milestone of success. It is a pleasure to share in your excitement and joy during this commencement celebration. Each one of you has worked incredibly hard to get where you are today. The journey of higher education has been a long one and here you are at the end of that journey. Papers are written, exams are passed, and you're receiving your degree today. Your time in college has taught you to be resilient and resourceful, to be flexible yet determined, to find value in traveling across disciplines to seek new ideas and perspectives, and most of all, to work with one another and in turn to become forever part of this community of scholars. As you've adapted and grown during your time at Great Basin College, you are now in the position to find the inspired path that will have the greatest impact on you, your family, your community, and the world around you. We are at an important time in the history of our state and our nation. Now more than ever, we need you to take the knowledge that you have gained and be the change that you want to see in the world. 
Be a healer, be a trendsetter, be an educator. Above all, be generous. Our state needs you to be the next generation of leaders during this tumultuous time. So on behalf of the Nevada System of Higher Education, I would like to congratulate you on this tremendous accomplishment. And remember, today does not mean the end of your journey, but the beginning of an exciting new chapter for you and for Nevada. Congratulations and go Bighorns. Hello everyone, I'm Joyce Ellens. I'm president of Great Basin College. And I'm here to say congratulations, graduates. Graduates of 2020. We'll all remember this year, won't we? I would much rather be with you in a big auditorium, lots of noise, lots of hugging. Instead, I'm in my office, but the sentiment is as earnest and sincere. And I just wanted to take a few moments to tell you how proud I am of you. It's not May. <laughs> We're not sitting in that big auditorium, but we still want to honor your achievements. And I know you've had help along the way. Loved ones, family, friends. You know, those people who were cheering you on when you thought, I can't do one more exam. I can't study. Maybe you had children in the room. Everything else was happening around you. How could I do it? Somebody said, keep on doing it. You can. Could have been your spouse or your friend, your mom or your dad. Maybe it was your own child. Said, mom, we could do it. Or dad, we could do it. So to all those people that helped you, that pushed you, that pulled you, that were there for you when you cried and thought you couldn't go on, I want to say thanks. But there's also faculty. And sometimes they were really challenging you, weren't they? You thought, I can't do it. They're too hard. But you rose to the occasion and you learned. And so I do thank the faculty for their scholarship and their commitment to teaching students. But let's focus on you. Amazing, determined, brave, successful. Congratulations. I know it took a lot of effort. All journeys take effort. You know, it could also be looked at as an obstacle. Obstacles are the flip side of the same coin of challenges. Obstacles, however, they stop us. Obstacles, it's easy to give up. It's easy to walk away. I can't do it. I'm not college material. We've all been there. I've been there. But when you refuse to give up and when you refuse to take the easy way out, you turn an obstacle into a challenge. And then the challenge has some steps to it. And get your foothold in there and climb up put your hand in there and then you find you've surmounted it that's brave so i think you've been brave everything worthwhile takes that effort everything worthwhile takes patience and a bit of humility too i think when you look into another person's eyes and you can just listen and you don't pass judgment i think that takes work too so maybe your friends or your family, your loved ones, your teachers, your faculty, your instructor, your professor, they listened and they helped you along. I think we have to do that for each other, especially now in the world. We have to look into each other's eyes and we have to not pass judgment. We have to be kind. I think maybe being kind right now takes the most effort and the most work. But you know what the result of that is? It's living a purposeful and I think a meaningful life. And that's really what we all need to do from this moment forward. Usually I'd be saying that in the auditorium to you. You know, that's the next challenge. You've already accepted and overcome many challenges. When you look back, think of those times that you discovered, I call it the magic wand of courage, and you turned the obstacle into a challenge. 
and then you overcame the challenge. It's not the easy way out, but you have succeeded and it's always worthwhile. So even with the support of your family and the help of your faculty, it was still you who made the decision. You decided not to give up and you are worthy of this success. You are worthy, you deserve it. I'm very proud of you. So when you move forward now in your careers, as you already have, some of you are on the front lines of this pandemic in many different ways. Remember always you have this ability to turn obstacles into challenges and then to find a way through. And you can call upon that at any time. Again, we're all very proud of you. Especially this year. There's never been a more successful and special graduating class than the graduating class of 2020. We're proud of you. We wish you well. Congratulations.